getting kind of late, and as you can probably understand, I'm getting ready to make my usual tea in the pitcher, and then I realized I could make a video out of this. So, first of all, I'll take two of these, these Earl Grey tea bags, and then I'll take three of these green tea bags, and then with the the teeth all together, I'll twirl them around so that they're all tied together, and then I'll tie them up. I'll get back to you once I've done that. And then once I have tied them all together, you can kind of see the knot right there. I'll dump them into my tea pitcher, and then I'll take it over here. Now, what's over here is my my kitchen sink. Now, this is this is the hot water. Um, and I live in a hotel, so the hot water is kind of hot around here. If I recall correctly, the water is about 185 degrees, and, well, 185 to 200, somewhere along the lines. It, it's steaming when it when I put it out. And it, in order to boil tea, you have to have, um... Yeah, you have to have about 180 to 212, depending on what type of tea you got. Like, for example, the darker the tea, the hotter you need it to be, and yeah. So, with this type of tea, it's hot enough, so I'll get right back to you once I've, uh, once I've put the hot water into the tea pitcher. La -da 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 -da. Alright, and as you can see, there is water in here, so next thing I do, I pull it out, it has water in it. And this water is really hot, I do not want to touch that. So the next thing I do, I come over here, I'll grab this lid, and then I will cover up the tea pitcher. That way, it, the minimum amount of heat escapes, because the hotter it is, the better it steeps, and the better it steeps, the better the tea. Anyway, this is just the first half of the video, so I'm going to make the second half of the video in the morning. Thanks for watching so far. So today is the second video, and I am going to be making myself a giant mug of tea. Here is the mug, and I am first going to take it off, or take off the lid, so I will bring it back. And now that we've gotten the lid off, we can tell that it looks a little bit different from what it looked like before. Now, of course, we're going to use this straw for the rest of the video. And uh, we're going to use this to first check. Yeah, that looks like a delicious golden brown, and if we sip it... Mmm, that tastes... Look it up, I got that, that tastes bitter. That tastes bitter. Yeah, that very much tastes bitter. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the tea bags out and set them on top of the lid, set the lid aside, and get some sugar. Now, I usually, this scoop is right about half a cup. Eh. Eh. Yeah. So I'll put a little bit more than half a cup. I'll put one of these in there, and then I'll put just a little, not the whole half cup for the second one. Because if I do that, then it tends to get a little bit too sweetened. Now, here's why I steeped this overnight, why you're seeing this video broken up in two parts. The reason being is, I tend to think of tea as not being any good unless I've steeped it for at least an hour, maybe two hours, sometimes, or usually a lot more than that, so I'll steep it overnight. Now, we're stirring up the tea, which is easy with this straw, and then what we're going to be doing next it, as you notice, it's not entirely full. In fact, it's only 75% of the way full. This is because, well, I like to have a little water with my tea, so I'll, the next thing I'll do is I'll take the tea bags, I'll put them back in because sometimes it still isn't strong enough, uh, take the lid, pour the residual, then I'll take the sink, take a spare candy cup, Thank you. 
Then I'll take that handy cup and then I'll pour it in. Yeah, that's the stuff. Then of course I'll mix it up and now we're good to go. <laughs> oh right, video. Right. Oh, um uh anyway, yeah, I that's that's enough. That's uh I will also from time to time spice it up with uh vanilla spice. Or maybe I'll do something a little bit different, like, uh, I love lemon. Now, I like this one, this tea in particular, because it has 100% of your daily requirement for vitamin C in every single bag. Sometimes I'll use orange matcha. Sometimes I'll use peppermint. Sometimes I'll use this, sometimes I'll use that, blah, 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 blah. You get the point. So... Anyway, I think that's enough for now. Thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you later.